Well, let's take you through those uh, top stories now. There was chaos on Gauteng's roads as thousands of taxi drivers affiliated to the uh, national taxi organization Santaco hit the brakes on services. Major roads and highways were blocked. Thousands of commuters left stranded. Schooling in Gauteng also affected. The association went on strike against South African taxi finance holdings over what uh, it said was high interest charges on vehicle repayments. Truck drivers, the first target, allegedly accosted, and their vehicles used to block several highways. They attacked us with stones and barrels, also carrying guns. All those uh, sweepers, they took all the keys from us. As dawn broke, the lines grew, and so did the frustration. I think it's all unnecessary and it's all a bit too much for us. We're all going to be late for work. We're going to school and we're going to a funeral. Actually, we're late already. Taxi bosses unrelenting. These companies, they're making a fortune out of us, they're ripping us off and when we try to communicate with them, when we email them, you know, they just ignore our communications. Now we feel that enough is enough, this is the only way that we have to now force this change. And schooling in some areas also affected. We don't need uh, our learners not to be safe and we felt that those that are en route to school they need to turn back. Those that are at home, they need to go to school. And those that are at school, the principals need to determine whether is it uh, safe for them to continue with the examination. Taxi bosses say they will return to work for now, but if their demands are not met, they will not hesitate to return to the streets and highways. And this time, they say it will be worse. Priscilla Lewis, SABC News, in Johannesburg.